on the lookout for nostalgia content. Discover the feelings you had as a child. If you're depressed, you should just drink some memories, you f***ing ingrates. Nostalgia! Embark on a journey to a time when things were objectively better. Actually, that's unlikely. They probably were just as bad as they are now, but your brain does a great job of forgetting all of the awful... Ah! Nostalgia's not content. Life. Looking back on your childhood, now you're sad for no real reason. It's the nostalgia game. Wish you could have enjoyed it then. And it's so good. Yay! I okay. love the nostalgia game. It's nostalgia game. You guys know how important it is to start the week off strong and get some major points on the on the board for uh for the I end of the week to win top banana. I haven't paid a ton of attention to that intro in quite some time. I watched it kind of like with fresh eyes just now, because usually it's just uh -huh. like sort of like in one ear out the other. Mm -hmm. Whoever that, that dude was going through a thing. <laughs> that is a that is a that is an intense that is an intense thing that I feel like has got you a lot of it. You're talking about I know. Don't know. No, I know. I, I just like that is a lot there's a lot happening there. I was thinking maybe we could retire it for a little while. I don't know. We'll see. Or do a shortened version of it or something. Sorry, you made it. I know, I you did. Have to live I know. With it now. But just like seems like I'm putting a show feels like <laughs> fair for that's all people, of us that's why people, not that's why people tune in we almost had therapy with you earlier today what we know things are making us mad but why are they making us mad well i think that's an important way to discuss things no, sorry I, bobby I, go I, ahead i, I uh, no, i'm gonna right. have to erase the banana so yeah everybody take a it's look in play again current holder me yeah robert you threw away a four point Game, uh, week last week, um, so everybody has a clean slate. Can, can we uh, be can, can, today. No! Can, we, can we be fair? Hold no! on, just give me one second. Let's be fair and clarify to all the viewers out there. The fact of the matter was, Bobby stole a couple points from me because he refused to no. tie Why? them. You called in six. So this is mine, sir. No, I gave those points back. I told, I admitted. I said, okay. yeah, you were right. I gave you those know? points back. Everybody went into Friday tied. And then you weren't here, so you just gave it away to Samantha. So I lost. I see. I yep. see. Yeah, but okay. you were you were doing really well last week. Let's see if you could do well this week. Nostalgia game. We uh, quiz you guys on um, the days of yore. This week, you guys are going to be looking at some emojis that uh, have to do with a uh, old classic television shows, um, shows that were probably in syndication when we were younger kind of in the daytime TV arena. Now the emojis don't necessarily spell out the title of the show or anything like that. It's kind of like more plot driven or maybe like theme song driven. Uh -oh. um, but you'll look at those emojis and you'll tell me what show they correlate and to. And we can't really think these through out loud, right? Right, because, right. because we, you guys will be, be using your whiteboards. Competing against, against each other. Okay. So once everybody oh, has oh. an answer locked in, we'll, we'll yeah. share. Can Robert, we you got your whiteboard ready? Uh, no, I don't. I, I, I need a refresher as to the rules. So we're writing them on the whiteboard, no buzzer, right? Because I was looking for my buzzer right. and I cannot find it. I can't find it. No, no that's whiteboard. okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll so use we can't the cheat. This is a smarter, so no more, more, smarter game. Okay, so this first one I think is pretty easy. You're going to take a look at this. When you know the answer, write it down and then we'll see how everybody did on the first question here, I think. Okay, and so who's this? Up first, number one. Mm -hmm. Little emoji action here. Sam? Yep. Writing frantically. Done. Andy, Done. study for a more calculated yeah, approach. I'm, I'm also studying. Robert? <laughs> <laughs> You know, everybody's got their own kind of play style here. Yeah. Robert has a look of confusion. Oh, my thing isn't working. Oh, okay. Well, Ow. sounds like... <laughs> I swear it never happens. All right, time's up. Time's Sam, up. Sam is now doodling pictures. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go I time can't, now. I'm so trying. Final, final weapons locked. Andy did scribble something. I see it. And if I can't read it, um, I'll I know why this is clarify. happening. Men don't shut cabinets. Ah. Men don't close pens. No, I'm, I close it because this one, this one mm, is gonna mm, be mm, okay. Go ahead. All right, go Robert. Ahead. Let's start with you, Rob. So, what did you come up with? A man, that feels nice. Roberto. <laughs> yeah, I, I could still hear you right there. Robert says Three's Company. I have no idea. Three's Company. Okay, no and then idea. let's go to the studio here. What, what else do we have? Sam says the Brady Bunch. Andy says, I don't even know what. That Seventh says, Heaven. Sir. What? When I see Seventh Heaven. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the answer. Oh. Rob. That's 
that's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. Okay. The Brady Bunch. To be fair, good assembled. job, Sam. I, I was, and this is my own fault. Fair, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was not listening to you at all oh. because I was trying to get my, I was trying, I was trying to clean off my board and wipe it on Sam's <laughs> coat. So, so I didn't even. Okay, so, it's, fair, so it's my fair. fault in the end. It's, it's still it's my Sam's fault. fault. That's fine. All right, don't worry. Like I said, we're doing therapy yeah. now. <laughs> There's a couple more chances. Here we go, uh, Rob. Let's see question number two and take a look at these emojis and tell me the show. Sam again, pretty confident. Andy studying, wants to be precise. To be fair, for the last one, Bobby, I saw the answer prior. Okay, I, I figured you <laughs> would, because that was before I knew that you were coming in, so I didn't have to, time to do the anti-cheat uh, tactics that we normally do. So you just threw it. That's that's admirable, Rob. You threw you threw the question, and then even, you admit even when cheating, he's not wrong. <laughs> I, I wish that my pen worked better because I do have it, but I but I'm. That's all right. Let's see. Uh, Rob, let's go with Rob first. Oh, Make oh, sure he's not stealing right. any answers. Okay, okay. I will say this. That's my answer. <gasps> Gilligan's Island. Just sit right here. here and you'll hear a tale. A tale of a fateful trip. Around. Let's let's hear a little bit of that. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. A tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this aboard tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man. The skipper brave and sure. By passengers yeah, set like sail the, that day for three hours. To be fair, this was what was in the central, so I would it easy. Oh, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> I didn't have to. Uh, cut I, it. Uh, this was already in our system, so I went. How, how wonderful. Also, I didn't know the Minnow was such a tiny little ship. Yeah, me too. I actually had to look at it because I, I had to like figure out which boat emojis to use. I was like, what did the ship look well, like? And I, I looked, in my mind, it was a big yacht, but I guess that was a pretty tiny little ship. Very good. Everybody gets a point on that one. Sam's still leading with two points. Andy and Rob on the board with one. Why don't you uh, we just have a couple more here. So, Rob, let's look at question number three. A little harder here. Oh. Oh, man. This is so great, Bobby. But my pen is so screwed up. <laughs> okay, maybe you could. Maybe Samantha will... Let you no, it's fine. I'll suffer. Writing. Look, she. Look how nice she is. She let you Thank you, Bobby. Phone. It's on the record. Bobby said I'm not. Yeah. No one Rob, said he was honest. I though. hear you writing away there too. I hear some pen caps coming on and off. Mm -hmm. This has got to be really tough. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Robert. How'd you do? Okay, we'll go Robert, go ahead. Uh, Rob. I'm still writing. Sorry, sorry. I was drinking water. No, he's oh, not. He's cheater. cheating. You we were cheating. To, now I need to go buy a timer. I try. I do this to try and prevent. I was it. literally drinking water. You guys are the worst. I don't know. Okay, I hear. The middle of the game, dude. You've got green, green acres. acres. Green acres. Arch wow, arches. Okay. Yes. Green okay. arches. Right, over here we have. We have the same answer. Beverly Hillbillies. Beverly Hillbillies. Let's see the answer. Is in fact well, listen green. to the story about a man named ah! Ted. The poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crew. Well, good job, oh, guys. Is. This is just all Nick at Night happening all at <laughs> once. This is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love this so much. I didn't have Nick at Night. I had to watch this on like Fox TV, Channel Five. Yeah, like, yeah. In the middle Five point two. <laughs> yeah, when, yeah. This uh, is this is also like the the block of like you stayed home sick from from school. Exactly. So this exactly. The stay <laughs> stay home sick starter pack. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was always Maury. I loved watching Maury. I wonder that yeah. makes a lot of sense for how you ended up the that way. That came on a little later. These were like in these the are like, yeah, yeah, this is like nine are, to yeah, yeah. nine to eleven a.m. Yeah. Like after the after the early news broadcast. Can you believe that Glenn Walker and Lou Parker like bumped the Beverly Hillbillies? It's like that's essentially what happened. Wow. That's what a what a what a legacy. What a legacy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we only have one more for you guys. This is the last one here. So you guys are gonna tell me what this. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh, Sam s sounded confident. Now stalling a little bit. I am stalling. Andy doing the, the furious writing now. Can I borrow your pen, please? No. No, don't let him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys first this time. No. You are such no. a snake. <laughs> don't look. I'm not. Don't look, you. No, this isn't right. This isn't right. I know it's not right. Well, go with your gun. Pens down, everybody. Pens, yeah, they're pens, go down. pens down. Let's start with Rob. Is that the way we're still doing it? Fine. Um, 
I'm going with my original guest because I want you to include Three's Company in one of these because that one I actually watched. Out of all these old shows, I didn't watch any of them except for Three's Company. So please let that be um, one of them. Do you accept 3S Co? And E equals MC squared? <laughs> I, just, I feel like if you did I that do on, want to accept it just on Final course. Jeopardy rules, I feel like that would be I said a, who's the uh, boss and who's wrong. Three's Company, really? I, mean, I hope so. Come and knock on our door. Oh, Look at that's this. it. That was the, we've been waiting for you. Okay. Yes, Bobby, Oops, thank yeah. you. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. We've been, been waiting, waiting for you. you. The kisses are hers. Great hers lighting. Hers and see the lighting was. Oh, R.I.P. Um, this is where I first uh, conceived my first notions of polygamy from this show, so. <clears throat> I mean, it was a the plutonic. joy, the joy that it is to work with Robert Puente every day. Someday, someone will write a book. At first, I thought it was a Big It'll Bang Theory, and you were doing how Sheldon Knox like Penny, oh. da, 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 Penny. Da, da, da. Oh, let's see it again. Yeah, no, but out of context, you, you should have known they were old school. I know. Like I'm sorry. The, you know. I'm sorry. Come on, knock on our door. All right. All right. I'll have to go. I'll have to go to the scoreboard. I I think Andy and Sam might be tied. I think yes. we're tied. Rob, I think you might be trailing by one because you threw the first question as an act of um, bravado. So. Chivalry. Okay, so uh, we'll I have, it all my mom's trying to help me cheat, but we're on delay, so ah. thank you, Three's Company. But she also said, I didn't let you watch Maury. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, I did, and the, the number two comes out. Samantha is now grounded. <laughs> I <wonder. laughs> the DNA Diagnostic what, Center number is. <laughs> what other things do our parents not know that we did? Ah, oh, it's time to take a break. <laughs> we'll see you in two minutes, 30 seconds, Facebook check-in. Also, how expensive is it if you want to go to the Super Bowl? And, um... The end of the show? Yeah, the end of the show. It was interesting.